Hello, my name is David and I'm here to explain a certain question that has been asked by certain candidates. Remember this one is going to appear on For My Class Web, a channel where digital learning materials is available. Now teachers and learners who are willing to use technology are free to visit this channel and get the materials. Subscribe to this channel and get most of the questions answered. Let us begin. The question that we have here was tested in the KCP for the year 2018 and candidates were supposed to apply certain concepts to come up with the answer. Some of the concepts that we, the candidates were supposed to remember, we are like calculating the area of a rectangle, calculating the perimeter of a rectangle, forming algebraic equation and even solving them and also converting area into different units. Now the question was number 28 and it reads the perimeter of the figure below is 1120 meters. Now what is the area of the figure in hours? Now we are going to begin on how to solve this problem. Now perimeter is the distance around a figure. That is the total sum of all the sides. In other words, if you start from this point, you move all the way around and then you go back to the same point. That is how you get the perimeter. Now, the figure that we have in question is rectangular. It is a rectangle. And one of the properties of a rectangle is that uh, opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. This side is opposite to this side and it is equal or rather they are equal this one and the other one is opposite to each other and the two lines are equal bearing that in mind then we shall be able to come up with the answer now uh, given that the perimeter is 1120 meters then uh, we can form an algebraic equation that will help us to get the value of x. To get the value of x. And once we get the value of x, it will help us to get the actual length and the actual width. Now, since we know the perimeter is 1120, then perimeter will therefore be twice the length plus twice the width twice the length plus twice the width. Now, uh, we have to remove the bracket first. And to remove the bracket, we shall have to multiply everything that is inside the bracket by the factor that is out in both cases. And therefore, in this first case, we shall have 2 multiplied by 6x plus uh, 2 multiplied by 30. Then we shall add 2 multiplied by 5x and then we shall subtract 2 multiplied by 20 and everything will give us 1120 meters because that will be the perimeter for that figure. Once we simplify that expression, we shall have 12x plus 60 plus 10x minus 40. Then we shall have to put the right terms together. The right terms together means we group, like for example, 12x we add 10x and then 60 we shall subtract 40 which will now be equivalent to 1120 meters. When you combine the x's you will get 22x then you add 20 which will be equivalent to 1120 meters. So to be left with 22x on the left, we shall have to subtract 20 from both sides. And when we subtract 20 from both sides, this is what we shall have. That is 22, we add 20, then we subtract 20, and on the other side, 1120, again we subtract 20. This time we shall be left on the left side with 22x, which will be equivalent to 1100. Now, we have to divide by 22 on both sides so that we make x the subject. In other words, we are left with x on one side. And so, 
when we divide on to the left with 22 we shall be left with x and on to the right we shall be left with 50 and therefore the value of x will be equals to 50 the value of x will be equals to 50 this value here 50 will help us to get the actual length and the actual width once we substitute it up here and on to the other side so once we substitute, you'll find that you'll have the length to be 330 meters. And when you substitute it onto the part of the width, you'll have the width to be 230 meters. Now that we've got the length and we have the width, it will now be possible to work out the area of a rectangle, which is length times width. That is 330. We multiply by 230. And this now will give us the area to be 75,900 meters squared. Now that the area is supposed to be given in us, we have to remember that 1R is equal to 100 meters squared. And therefore, whatever we have obtained up here, we ha uh, ha shall have to be uh, converted to us by dividing by 100. And once you divide... Uh, 75,900 by 100, you will be left with 759 hours, which will now be the area of that figure. There will be now the area of that figure in hours. Thank you very much and welcome to the next session.